All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Al Shawar Chakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shah is the world agent of the call is Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And Chakwadash is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach well in the scriptures, and salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in our truth and all sincerity. And uh, I just want to get into a quick lesson. And, um, you know, this is for any brother in general, but um, I'm really targeting the younger brothers because. You know, um, the younger brothers are, you know, pretty much, you know, just fresh out of the world, basically, you know, uh, whether you be in this truth for, you know, a couple months, a year, two years, even three years, you you know, you're still um, fairly new. OK. And um, with that being said, you know, you got to uh, cut off that old man. OK. Old habits, basically. All right. And um, one of the things, you know, um that our people have problems with, you know, a problem with is, you know, um, being on time, okay? A lot of our people, they, uh, um, they procrastinate, okay? That's a huge issue with Jake in general. Um, our people are procrastinators. And, you know, you know I myself have, have, uh, um, have that problem, okay? And I know a lot of brothers have that problem as well. But, you know, it's best to, um, you know, handle business, all right? Um, as quickly as possible, okay? You know, you don't want to um, uh, put, um, you know, this truth on the back burner, so to speak, okay? You know, for instance, out here in Chicago, we have a thing called, you know, a, a, a precept of the, of the uh, day, all right? And um, whatever um, particular camp you're in or whatever um, um, rank you're in, you know, you got to uh, do your precept of the, uh, of the day, okay? We also have, um, you know, the uh, video of the day as well, okay? You know, brothers should be reading, you know, frequently, you know, regularly, all right? These things, they need to be, um, they need to be uh, put on the, uh, um, you know, uh, basically, they, they need to be uh, done first, okay? Like I said, they can't be put on the back burner, all right? You got to remember that everything revolves around this truth, okay? All right, the truth doesn't revolve around everything else. It's the opposite. The tr everything revolves around this truth, okay? So, Take care of your spiritual business first and foremost, all right? You know? And um, let's start off with the scripture here in uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. And it says, let all things be done decently and in order. Okay? It's a, a scripture we constantly bring out. But this scripture here is a very, very important and key scripture in this truth. Okay? You have to uh, do everything uh, decently and in order. All right? Now... Going back to that statement I made about uh, uh, handling your spiritual business, okay? You know, for instance, if you have a, a precept of the day, all right, you know, get to that every day. You know, you may, you know, fall, you know, a day, even maybe two behind, you know, because sometimes things occur. You know, you know, uh, uh, I'm a realist. You know, I know uh, 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 brothers are realist, okay? You may have uh, um, a lot of work. You know, brothers have families. That, you know, sometimes they get caught up with that. Um, you know, things happen. You know, you may have to help out. Uh, uh, your parents, you know, th things occur. We understand that. But when it becomes, you know, you're six, seven, eight days behind, now that's an issue. Now you're either being undisciplined or you're just being lazy or really both, okay? What it really comes down to is both, all right? See, that's the thing in this truth. You have to uh, learn discipline, okay? You have to put your, um, hey, well, let's get that real quick. As the scriptures say, you have to put your body into subjection, okay? And this is, um, here we go. This is, uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and, uh, 27. And it reads, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjections. Okay. You got to bring your body into subjection. Okay. You have to basically, uh, um, refrain from your lust. Okay. And your desires, even if they're lawful things. Okay. And there's times, you know, uh, for instance, you know, I, I, I like to, you know, uh, at times, you know, uh, play, you know, video games. You know, I like to be, you know, with the lady, you know what I'm saying? But there's times where, you know, hey, I got to put that to the side, okay? I, I got to do the work of the Lord first, okay? You know, you can't, uh, um, you know, put all your time into this world. Really, you should be putting more time into this truth than really the things of this world. Because, look, the things in this world, they're going to bypass, okay? Hey, that job you have is going to be gone. That business you have is going to be gone. The house you own is going to be gone. 
hey, a lot of our family members, they're going to be gone. They're going to be, you know, um, exterminated, all right? And it is what it is. You know, we can't get emotional about it. You know, it's just a, it's just a harsh reality. Now, may, you know, maybe the Lord might uh, give your family members mercy, though. Who knows? Maybe they might, um, they might get mercy through you, you know? Be, or because of you, all right? You know, they may be under your household. And, and since, you know, you are a servant of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, maybe your parents, okay, your brother, your wife, children, whoever it may be, maybe they'll get mercy, okay? All right? But, you know, all in all, you got to get your stuff in order first, okay? Well, let me uh, finish this off. This is 1 Corinthians 9 and 27. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, least by any means... When I have preached to others, I myself shall should be a castaway. And you see, that's a, a, a heavy statement that the Apostle Paul made. Because as the scriptures say, you have to not only be hearers of the word, but doers. Okay? You know, you can't just go out there and, you know, uh, you know you're teaching and you're rebuking the people. And you're not doing the things that you're saying. Okay? That you're preaching about. Alright? You really got to be a... Um, uh, about this truth, you 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 have to be you know, uh, you got to have your hands you know all hands on deck, man. All right. Okay, you you just can't be a Saturday Israelite. That's a term that you know that always stuck with me. I I, um, I remember hearing the apostles bring that out uh, a long time ago. This was years and years ago, and they they you know made that statement. It's not about being a, a Saturday Israelite, because you got a lot of um people out there, you know they uh. You know, they're super duper Israelites, you know, when they're, you know, camping and teaching. But, you know, um, uh, 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 once they get back home, you know, they're lazy, slothful, okay? They're not following orders, you know? They're just basically being reprobates, okay? That, that occurs a lot. And we don't want to be those people, okay? All right? But, uh, let me get this, um... Okay, because you know we got to get our house in order first and foremost. You know that's that's a uh, that's something we got to do. All right, as men of the Lord, first you got to examine yourself. You know, what? let me get that first. Let me get that one first. Let's start off with this one first, and then we'll get that uh, Second Ezra fourteen. Let's get this. This is um. Here we go. Second uh, Corinthians thirteen and five, and it reads: Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shai uh, Hamashiach is in you? Except ye be reprobates. Alright. So the first thing it says is examine yourself. Okay. You got to look at yourself in the mirror. And, and, and be honest with you. You know. Uh, uh, with, with yourself. Okay. You know. Are you doing what's. Um, you know. What's commanded of you? Are you following orders? Are you being lazy? Slothful? Okay. Are you, you know, um, lend the, uh, 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 are you giving uh, into the flesh too much? Okay. You know, are you being brotherly? You know, you got to look, you know, think about these things. You know, did you handle uh, a particular situation at the job properly? You know, uh, uh, um, did you handle a situation properly when you were on the line? You know, these are things you've got to think about. You know, this is a, a a scripture that you should be applying daily, okay? All right? You know, you, you really got to uh, um, look at yourself. And look, we all got flaws, all right? Every single one of us. I got to improve on something, all right? You know, the brothers around me, okay? Who's ever listening and you got to improve on particular things. There's always room for improvement. Remember that. Don't get lazy, uh, not lazy, I'm um, content. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Content. You should always want to cr uh, critique yourself. Okay? All right, now with that, uh, we you know, brought out that scripture. Let's get this uh, 2 Ezra 14, all right? All right, 2 Ezra 14, and um, we'll, start at, uh, we'll start at verse 13, all right? This is 2 Ezra 14 and 13. It says, now, therefore, set thy house in order. And that's the first thing it said right there. Set your house in order. And that's uh, uh, talking about yourself, first and foremost. you got to examine yourself and get yourself in order. 
You know, get you know, f- uh, 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 finish your spiritual work. Okay, go to work. You know, f- you know, uh, actual physical slavery. Go to work. All right. Uh, uh more else. Um. Uh, um. You know, take care of your family if you 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 have one. Okay, take care of yourself too. And don't neglect yourself, brothers, man. You know, as scriptures talk about that, uh, do good unto thyself. You know? Hey, buy good food. Cook your food. Hey, make sure it's not all always oily. You know? Uh, 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 make sure, you, you know, you're buying good soaps. You know, or good shampoos. Work out. You know, those, those are just the name of a few things, man. Okay? And there's more. You know, you know enjoy nature. Meditate. You know, these these are just a few things, all right, that we should be doing. You know, for ourselves, okay. You know, we're, we're really uh, take care of yourself, man. All right, I'm gonna keep reading. Uh, Second Ezra fourteen and thirteen. Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people. After you get yourself in order, then you can reprove, then you can rebuke, because now you're really living this lifestyle, okay? You're really all about it. Then you can tell you know the people look. Uh, you know, don't eat these abominations, you know, uh, these abominable foods. And why is that? Because you're not doing it. You don't commit adultery. You can say that because you're not. You know, uh, this, that, and the third, whatever it may be. You can, you're able to preach these things because you do them. Okay? And I'm going to keep reading. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. And that's uh, uh, our main focus too. All right? Is making sure that the elect are comforted by the you know the these holy, uh, godly and goodly words, okay? Because because uh, you know we need um. You know we need that constant reminder that there's more to life than the, uh, uh, than this place. You know, I'm gonna keep reading now. Renounce corruption. Let go from these mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature, and that's what we got to do. You know we got to let go of our mortal thoughts. Hey, don't worry about, uh, you know, uh, what you're going to eat. You know, if you're going to have a job, the things to come. Don't worry about these things. The Lord is going to uh, uh, provide. He's going to take care of us. And it said there, cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. And that's a huge thing, putting off the way uh, the weak nature. You got to put off that old man. That man that's un- unproductive, that's lazy, okay? That doesn't want to, um, uh, you know, that doesn't want to, you know, have that discipline. Okay, that's just to name a couple things. You gotta put it away, man. You gotta get rid of it. Okay, you can't be the same man you were when you, when you first got into this truth. You can't be the same man you were a year ago, a, a couple months ago, a week ago. You gotta keep improving. That's the whole thing about this truth. Okay, it's c- constant improvement, self improvement. Okay, you gotta uh, 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 constantly, you know, uh, um, in a sense, outdo yourself through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, because ultimately. You know, the Lord's got to, you know, constantly give you that boost, you know, to overcome these hurdles. Okay. And that's where, hey, hey that, that pray, that praying and fasting comes in. You know, that's an important thing too. pray and fast. Are you doing those things? You know, especially the praying, no doubt about it, fasting as well. But, you know, at times, you know, hey, brothers, you know, hey, you know, we don't fast as much because, you know, you got things going on. But yeah, you should be fasting. From time to time, no doubt about it. But that prayer is it is so heavy and key that you should be doing that daily. That's your connection. That's uh, your personal relationship and connection with Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Your power. So if you're a, as the scriptures talk about in the Book of James, if you lack wisdom, pray for it, ask for it. Hey, you know the brother now, uh, the brother Monachi and I were talking about this. We were talking about how. You know, you got to pray for everything, no matter what it is. It could be, uh, you know, of course, first and foremost, you should start off spiritually. But even down to the carnal things, you know. Hey, uh, 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 Lord, um, help me get a job so then, you know, I can provide for myself and help the brothers out. Or, hey, Lord, can you help me with discipline? I want to uh, lose weight. Things like that. They, they, these are things with the brother and I were talking about. And we were saying that a lot of brothers don't, don't uh, uh, cleave unto the Lord like they should be, you know. All right. And um, re, I'm going to read 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. Okay, and that's ultimately, you know, what we need to be doing. We got to, you know, uh, hasten the day. And that's the, uh, uh, the um, 
uh, the uh, uh, title for this year, okay? You know, this is the year 2021, you know, hasting of uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, okay? The coming of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, all right? You see? Now, well, let me see if I had any other scriptures. Um, it, You know, not to make this less long, you know, we'll cut it off, but, you know, read, um, you know, I, I was uh, telling the brothers, too, that, um, you know, that uh, um, that the Passover is coming up. So we got to really examine ourselves. And if you want to, um, you know, read a little more on that, uh, about that, uh, uh, read 1 Corinthians 11, the 11th chapter, the 27th verse to the 29th verse, and also read Sirach 18 and 20, okay, the 18th chapter and 20th verse, right? Those are some good um, precepts to uh, uh, to look over, okay? But, you know, hey, pretty much I can, you know, hey, you know get, a, uh, get in order, okay? You know, stop being lazy. You know, put off that, you know, uh, old man. T you know, you got to put on that new man, all right? F you know, stay focused, pray fast. You know, you, you know, really, uh, uh, you know, buckle down, man. You know, times are getting, you know, more and more serious. And, uh, you know, we should uh, uh, also be getting more serious as well. We should be getting more focused, okay? But, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Now, you know, I hope this was an edifying lesson. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about you, Mel Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great mills on salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.